Today's video, we're going to look at uh, how to line things up. It's called the Align Tool and also a second one called the Mirror Tool, which will uh, allow us to make reversed shapes. And we're going to be using that to uh, do our shaft. So I've put these two um, things together just to start. And this is a box on top of a box and a cylinder on top of a flatter cylinder. I'm just using this as an example. Um, now, I'm um, going to be in orthographic view. We're going to be in front view. If we're in perspective, you're going to see it a little distorted, so it's not going to work for you very well. You can see that it's lined up up and down. I did that already, but now we got to take our side view. Not in perspective. To see that they're not really lined up. Okay, now in the top view, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to show how to use the Align tool. And the basic way it works is that you pick both of the objects you want to line up. This time I use the shift key on this one. Shift, pick, hit the align tool. You get these dots. The middle dot will line it up in the middle. Center. And up and down and back and forth, X and Y. And these other dots will line it up on the edges. So middle. So that's centered, as we already know from the other view that it's right. This time I just put a box around the two cylinders. We're going to do the same thing. Also hit the L key. Center it. It's already centered that way, but I can also line up the uh, circumference little edges there that way. But we're going to put it right in the middle. And that's really all there is to that. And there they are all uh, in 3D. We're still in orthographic, but you can switch at this point if you want to. Now, um, we'll take a stop here. Get rid of the boxes. Now what I want to take a look at is uh, grouping these two together to make one object. Pick them both. Group them. Color changes to one of them. It's one object now. It's one thing. So we need, we need to make a shaft. It's a piece, one piece, not a bunch of little... Uh, little parts. Okay, next we're going to look at the mirror command and um, in my side view I pick the object. There's mirror right there. Oh, I am. And I get this little double arrow and when I click it it's going to flip it so that the um, thick part, the, the wide part is on the top before it was on the bottom. It'll go back and forth like that. It's making a mirror image. Uh, but really, we just want to make a copy and a mirror so that it's going to have the other, you know, keep the first half and make another half. So to do that, duplicate. It'll make a copy right in the same place so you don't see it. But there's two of those objects now right in the same space. This time I mirror. And now it's made a copy, a mirrored copy. I can drag that one up. Take the both of them and we're going to group those to make one shape. And now we have a nice finished uh, finished shape and I can move that up and down. As an object I can change the measurements of the, at least the basic measurements, the other parts like um, should have been done right before. And uh, there we are. The basic idea of, again, we're doing um, a line to line these things up, to center them together. Um, then we're going to group them, uh, make copy, mirror.